Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. I'm going to show you an easy way to implement a tagging system in Excel. Here's a list of films with various tags. Adventures Endgame is action, superhero, franchise, sequel, and Marvel. Frozen 2 is animated, sequel, kids, and Disney, etc. So what if you want to find entries on your list that have a certain tag? The simplest way to do this is with a filter. And you always want to include extra columns in your filter. So let's just go A, B, C, and then select all and put a filter on. And if you're not familiar with filters, you should check out my video on filters, Excel's easy button, which I'm linking to in the video description and blog post. So then you just click on the filter button here and you go to the search bar and let's search for SQL. And then here this list just shows you anything that has the SQL tag. And then if you want this in its own list, you can just select the rows and copy. And let's go ahead and create a new tab and paste. And that's it, you're done. So that is super easy and how to implement a tagging system in Excel in just a few seconds. After I taught this in one of my classes, a student put her whole address book into Excel so she could do this. She tags whether people are local, interested in running, hiking, part of various social clubs, and things like that. Then when she wants to email or invite people to something, she can filter by the appropriate tag and copy-paste their email addresses. But what if you want to do this using a formula instead of a filter? That's a bit more complicated, and if you're afraid of Excel formulas, you may want to stop the video here. Now there's a few steps to this formula, and I'll show them to you one at a time so it's clear how it works. So let's take this filter off, and then I'll put a box in K2 here for our input of the tag that we're going to search for. And we'll just go ahead and enter franchise in this box. Now we use the search function, which looks for a text string inside another text string. So I do equals search parentheses K2, and then I hit F4 to make that an absolute reference, comma, E2, close parentheses. And then let's fill that down. Now the rows with the franchise tag have a number, and those without it have a value error. It doesn't matter what this number is, we just care about whether there's a number at all. So now we want another column that's going to check whether there's a number here or a value error. So then we use the isNumber function. So we do equals isNumber, parentheses, and then we just go here and close parentheses, and then fill that down. Now it's true or false, so we can use an if statement equals if parentheses g2 and then the output can be whatever you want this is the reason you're doing the formula so make it what's useful for you for demonstration purposes we'll say that the value if true is just k2 and then let's hit f4 to make that an absolute reference and the value if false is quote, not, space, quote, ampersand, K2, F4 to make it absolute, close parentheses. And if you don't know about the ampersand function, check out my link to the video on it. And then let's fill that down. And now we've got a list that's telling us whether things are franchise or not franchise. And you see if I change this here and say action, things will update dynamically because we've got our formula that's doing this. But we don't have to do this in three separate columns. We can do this all in one column. So let's go ahead and insert a column so that this is all inside our filter. You always want to insert columns to make sure that they're inside your filter. To combine this into one formula, we're going to do equals if parentheses is number parentheses search parentheses L2 
F4, comma, E2, close parentheses, close parentheses, comma, and then your output, which in this case we're going to do as L2 and then F4 to make that an absolute reference, comma, and then your output if you don't find the tag, which we're going to do as not space, quote, ampersand, L2, hit F4 to make that an absolute reference, and then close parentheses. And then we go ahead and fill this down. And then we're done here. So once again, if we were to change this to say SQL, and again, it updates dynamically because we've got it as a formula. That's how you implement a tagging system using a formula. I'm going to put this formula into the video description and blog post so you can easily copy it. But as a reminder, it's a lot easier to do this using a filter, where all you have to do is click the filter button and then just type in the tag. And then you don't have to muck around with a complicated formula, but sometimes you do need to do this using a formula or have something that dynamically updates. So that's why I showed you how to do it using a formula. I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. Please like and subscribe and check out rockstarexcel.com for our blog, our newsletter, to see about our courses in consulting. And you can also sign up for a free consultation to learn how we can save you time and money. You can also submit your Excel questions to be answered in a future video, which is a sneaky way to get some free consulting out of me. Please comment letting me know what you thought of this video and how I can help you be an Excel rock star.